Now, a new report says the insurance industry is battling for survival amid rising competition and a negative image. Technology is changing the face of the industries and startups are taking on established players. Technology services firm TAS interviewed 50 insurance industry executives. TAS Chief Executive Shane Baker joins me now. Thank you for joining us. So what impact is technology having on the insurance industry? Well, the feedback that came through the survey is that it's recognised that disruptive technology is making a significant difference. It's created the opportunity for InsureTechs, which is a new industry coming in, focused on technology specifically for the insurance sector. And it's, uh, it's addressing customer requirements, I guess, in terms of uh, the way they want to interact with insurance companies and buy services that the traditionals aren't doing today. So is that lowering premiums for customers? I think that it will certainly lead to that. So the new technology providers coming in and the insurance companies coming in don't have the overheads that the large ones do. But also Internet of Things and these new technologies uh, in cars, for example, and houses will lower premiums over time because uh, there will be a reduction in claims, effectively. Now, you're expecting a major consolidation, though, in the Australian uh, industry down the track. Why is that? I think it's going to become challenging for the mid-tier and the smaller organisations to be able to compete. A number of reasons for that. So again, uh, there's a lot of big companies that are looking to come into Australia, Google and others, which the insurance companies fed back through this report, is a concern. And they come in with a lot of clout, they have a lot of data, so they've got a better understanding potentially of customer behaviour. But on top of that, uh, the changing... Uh, so if we take cars, for, for example, automation in cars, a lot of less accidents are occurring. This has an impact on premiums, so it's going to reduce premiums which is a margin squeeze for the insurance companies. So the challenge of competition, but also the change in behaviours and technology in, uh, in our general life is going to have an impact on insurers, and margin squeeze will drive competition and uh, drive some out, unfortunately. Now, is there a risk that some of these new companies, especially the start-ups, don't have the deep pockets of the big insurers, so um, some people might not be able to get insurance in, say, flood prone areas and so forth. I think that is actually what's going to preserve the, the insurance industry as it stands. A lot of the insure techs that are coming in uh, are, are focused on personal items, for example. I think traditional like car and certainly home uh, and the networks that are required, the assessors, the service element is always going to be there in a need. So I think it will be much more about these insure techs in those cases working with the large incumbents to improve their processes, improve their customer engagement. I don't think they're going to be in a position in the short term to take on those types of services. Services. Now, what is the industry doing to clean up its act? We saw from your own report that nearly one quarter of those surveyed said the industry's negative image was a challenge. That's correct, and it's interesting. It's the industry saying that about their, uh, their own industry. Uh, so customer-centric is what they're talking a lot about. And this, again, the insure techs and technology are driving that behaviour. They're talking to the fact that they are going to become more customer-centric, better understanding, using analytics and other uh, information and technology to better understand that consumer, to change those sort of behaviours and improve that reputation. That's their answer and approach to, uh, to resolving these issues. Well, again, we just saw today that QBE has to repay six $16 million for selling insurance to yes. consumers that they didn't need. Are there too many insurers selling unnecessary insurance? Well, the report doesn't uncover that. Well, that wasn't a, a topic of discussion, but I think that's absolutely the case. Well, that's what ASIC, the corporate regulator, said. Uh, the challenge, and, and if you think about from an industry perspective, this is why insure techs and new entrants have an opportunity. Uh, it, it is because of the perceptions of the insurance companies in the marketplace. They leave the door open uh, and create these opportunities. So the bad behaviour could actually lead to, the, and this more competition, you think, could see the industry clean up its act? Well, you would, you would have to think it's going to go one way or the other. It's going to have to either drive cleaning up their act or you're going to see change as a result and competitors will come in and resolve those issues because the opportunity is left for them to do so. Okay, Shane Baker, Chief Executive of TAS, thanks for joining us. Thank you.